interesting. Uh, you know, I had, I had done my PhD at university, been at Market University, uh, and then at University of Manitoba. So I'd, I'd basically done nothing other than at university. And uh, I had a gut feel that maybe doing something different at this, you know, I was what in my late, you know, what I was, late 20s, I suppose. Uh, I thought, well, maybe uh, doing something different might be good. And, and uh, I, I, particularly with, uh, uh, with at Manitoba, uh, with Mahesh uh, Chattavedi, we did some work on super alloys, and these were real materials that they were actually being used. Uh, and I realized how complicated real materials were. Uh, so that attracted me towards real materials. But in addition to that, I, I decided that while I'm a, a reasonably good metallurgist, uh, I wasn't really interested in what I call dotting the I's and crossing the T's. The detail really sometimes, sometimes you need to know the detail, but in general, um, I, I was more interested in the broader issue. And if I understood a problem to a level that I could make use of the understanding and quantify what the issues were, that was as far as I was interested in going. I wasn't interested in or capable of really looking at things at an ultra level of detail, really. Uh, so I, I suppose I was a bit of a generalist. And I thought that uh, uh, academia really should be reserved for those who can really make the step functions, not the incremental functions. And that was my perspective. Um, and I thought that uh, uh, going into industry would be an interesting thing to do for a change as well.